So the difference between this uh, problem and the other one we just did is they're giving us a table. They're not giving us a nice picture. So I want to give you guys a picture, a graph to help you guys understand this. Uh, but in the future, you don't technically need to draw this. All right. And we don't need to be perfect here. OK, so the X is zero. Uh, the Y is two. The F is two. So I'm going to put zero and then we're going to go up to two right here and then uh, three, five. So I'm going to put a three over here I'm going to put a five right here doesn't matter i don't have to be perfect um nope that's not right there we go we put a dot right there and then the next one's going to be four seven so i'll put a four right here i'll put a seven right here it looks good to me and then uh eight eleven so the eight goes all the way up to eleven or we'll put eleven right there that looks good okay so we got all our points now it says ooh, look we got a new word right here riemann well mr riemann is the one that formulated this and gave us a language for it so he gets to be named after this this um, method using right riemann sums okay so that's important okay i'll I'm gonna explain that in a second this one says three unequal subdivisions what subdivisions three okay look we got one two three and this is three this is one and this is four that's the distance of each of those okay they're unequal you see that that's why it says unequal okay so it says um right okay so what does that mean well what we're doing here is we're going to draw rectangles and find the areas of them then add them together that's all we're doing okay so the base of the rectangle is right here uh so how high is this rectangle is this rectangle going to be two or is this rectangle going to be a height of five okay well we know if we're doing left or right riemann sums this side is the left side and this side is the right side and what are we doing? Are we doing the right or the left Riemann sum here? Right. We're doing the right because it, it says it right here. So is my height of this rectangle going to be 2 or is it going to be 5? Five? Five. Five. It's going to be 5. So there's my first rectangle. Okay, so that would be 3 times 5 plus. And then the next one, our next uh, subdivision is only length 1. And what, it, what is the height of our next rectangle, table 2? It's not six. Table one, what is uh, the height of our rectangle? Seven. It is seven. We go to the right side and then we get our rectangle. Okay, so that's going to be one times seven plus. And then we have one more. Um, we have this subdivision right here. And uh, what's, our, what's the height of that rectangle, table four? It is 11. Nice job. Okay, so it's 11 right here. So we're going to go 4 times 11. And then we have to add these suckers up, and that's what our answer is. Easy peasy, nah? 15 plus 7 plus 44. Uh, so that's going to be 22 plus 44. That's going to be 6. Uh, is this 66? Yeah. Did I do everything right? Yeah. yeah, I did. Okay, it's 66. That is our... Um, approximation there.